Let's talk about why professionals are flocking to Blender. And just wait a minute. Every time I talk about Blender in a professional use, I get a lot of angry comments. I'm not saying that Blender is the industry standard, but I am saying that Blender is being used a lot by professionals and maybe in ways that you wouldn't think so. In this video, we're going to dive into some places it's being used, how it's being used, and why it's being used. And maybe that'll help you prioritize some of the features you want to learn if you're interested in using Blender professionally. Blender is getting used more, maybe not in the way that you think. I think oftentimes when we think about a professional 3D software, we think in terms of a studio pipeline. But the problem is that these large companies like DreamWorks and stuff have so much of their time, pipeline, and custom tool sets invested into existing pieces of software like Maya, or in Pixar's case, custom software. And it's not likely that they will switch anytime soon because it would be such an expensive and large task to take on. However, Blender is getting used a lot more by individuals and also contributing to these projects as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these features are being utilized. Visual effects play a large role in creative products, but they're time consuming, render intensive, and difficult to control. Dynamic Visual Effects Pack aims to solve all that. With over 25 visual effects assets, you can drag and drop into your scene with easy to use exposed controls. Annotated graphs to help you learn and customize further. And the best part is nearly everything renders super fast in either Eevee or Cycles. Let's dive in and take a look at how some of these can help save you time. You might be excited to hear that it was actually used on Spider-Verse for some of the scenes with some of these kind of crazy overlaid effects specifically because of Grease Pencil. One cool studio using Blender and some of their projects is Yellow Lab, and Yellow Lab has worked with large clients such as Microsoft. One film utilizing Blender specifically for its Grease Pencil tools is the new Unicorn Wars film, which I Lost My Body is another film that utilized Blender yet again for its Grease Pencil functionality, and this film was actually nominated for an Oscar. Sadly, this studio is no longer around, but NextGen was actually using Blender for most of its entire pipeline built around it, though they did use other software as well to assist, which is common. The hit game on Steam, Rust, uses Blender for a lot of its modeling. Now, you may have seen Klaus on Netflix. This film was incredibly well received by both critics and audiences alike for its beautiful 2D animation that almost looks 3D. Now, unfortunately, they've canceled this project as Netflix oftentimes does, but their next feature film was actually utilizing yet again Grease Pencil to help them achieve this look. You need to look no further than the Blender Development Fund to get an idea of what large companies are using Blender. As you see here, a ton of tech companies with things like AMD, Epic, Meta, Google, Adobe, Activision, and more. And what a lot of these tech companies are using the software for is the fact that it's open source, they can effectively include it in their pipelines and integrate it into their tool sets with the access they have to that code. Already Been Chewed is a very prestigious visual effects studio that does a lot of advertising for companies like Nike, Disney, Marvel, ESPN, Star Wars, and a lot of other top name brands. And they're utilizing Blender in some of their pipelines, oftentimes due to the ease of use of geometry nodes and kind of the simple in viewport render engine. Several large game studios, including studios such as Activision publishers, Ubisoft publishers, or specific studios like Infinity Ward are actually starting to use Blender a lot more in their pipeline. This is due to the fact that it's easy to customize, free to use, and has some great modeling tools that we're gonna talk about later specifically. Blue Zoo is another studio that sometimes uses Blender as well, and they have shows on Nickelodeon and work with a variety of large clients. You may have already seen this talk, but it's from the Blender conference. I use Blender at Marvel and it changed my life. Great video if you're interested in some of that content. And Blender's website itself also highlights various uses of Blender, including how NASA is using Blender. So, whoa, let, let's just stop right there. We've done a big list of kind of use cases of Blender, but why are people using it? As with any piece of software, various 3D softwares all have different things that they're good at. What is Blender good at? What are some of the ways people are using it and why they're choosing it? Let's look at some of those features. Retopology is the process of taking a sculpt and then recreating the topology in a cleaner, more efficient manner. This is for subdivisions, optimizations of faces, UV unwrapping and animation. And one extremely powerful tool Blender has unique to it is Retopaflow. And I've actually heard word from people who work within the game industry that Retopaflow is used by some artists to clean up their models because it is just one of the best retopology tool sets that exist. I had word from one of my colleagues in PlayStation that one of the reasons a lot of his colleagues used Blender to do modeling was due to the hard ops 
modeling add-on, which makes it incredibly efficient for doing hard surface modeling in Blender, making it one of the best tools for this type of modeling. Now, as we've already seen, there's been several projects mentioned prior that utilize Blender because of the grease pencil. And part of that reason is that there are a lot of great 2D softwares that have 3D aspects and some 3D softwares have 2D aspects, but Blender has an incredibly unique and powerful blend of the two together. And I suspect that Grease Pencil will be one of the reasons we start seeing Blender get used professionally more often. I know amongst my colleagues that Grease Pencil has been one of the largest attractions for them in checking out the software. I know that amongst my colleagues who work with large brands like Nike, ESPN, Marvel, and Disney, as they work as personal contractors, a lot of them have actually taken an interest to Blender specifically because of Grease Pencil. Now, I don't have as many professional examples of this, but one reason I've heard people leaning into Blender is using Grease Pencil for the previs and also for the storyboarding process. And if you check out the new add-on Story Pencil, I believe that's only going to strengthen the reason to use Blender as Story Pencil creates an incredibly unique and powerful way to produce storyboards utilizing Grease Pencil and Blender and its scene setup. Now, this probably comes as no surprise, but Blender EV is another reason I've seen it chosen to be used on projects. Oftentimes, it gets delegated to things like Previs, and then the finals move over to other render engines. However, I've seen EV used on final renders as well. For example, I know one ad studio used it to complete a Google ad project because they had a very tight turnaround of just a week or two and they needed to deliver a massive resolution render for a presentation and they couldn't get the render farms or the render engines to move fast enough to produce the final result. So they went with more of a NPR style and then rendered it out in Eevee. This is the same reason that Unreal Engine 5 is being used for a lot of this type of work as well. Tight turnarounds for ad agencies is oftentimes a common thing and render engines in 3D move very slowly as we know. So moving into the real time realm allows people to get these projects turned around quicker. It probably comes as no surprise that I've seen Blender chosen for geometry nodes as well. Now, of course, there are tools like Houdini, which have a more advanced tool set and really crazy simulation tools. However, where geometry nodes really excels is providing people a simple beginner friendly introduction into kind of the world of procedural node systems built into a software they may already be comfortable with. And let's not forget independent artists here. They play a large role in using Blender. Not every single artist that contributes to a project is part of a big studio pipeline. There are plenty of contracts or studio teams that only have a single 3D artist. And if they're comfortable working in Blender, many of these smaller studios or contract clients don't care what software you work in as long as you're able to get to the end product.